my cute. Okay, guys. How adorable is this? It's about to be my yoga outfit. Why? Yeah. Mm -mm -mm -mm. LOL is what I really look like, though. Um, I have oil on my face, too. Well, I could technically, like, kind of like a little bit. But if I'm going to do some inversions, I shouldn't. I have oil on my face because I noticed that the stuff that I'm using to dry it out, it, I'm starting to get a wrinkle. And I don't know if that's from like the laser treatment. Like I'm not excited about that freaking huge wrinkle I have right here, but it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? That spot got so dry, you know? Um. Anyways, it is what it is. I'm probably, I'm going to get wrinkles at some point. But anyways, I have argan oil all over my face about it. And my hair sweaty and a little wet because I went to work out and then I came in here and I rinsed off. Afterwards, well, I took a shower, but I didn't wash my hair. It was more than a rinse off because, you know, it's just snowing outside. It's so pretty. I just wanted to show you my outfit, but I don't like this lighting. Uh, it's Horrible. I love this little outfit. And now I just need some little socks. I can't believe it is still snowing. It's been snowing since like eight something this morning. Sorry, I want to redo. Since ate something this morning. Anyways, that wrinkle's new. I'm sure it'll go away. And technically, there's um, I, I it's supposed to get worse before it gets better. So like anything, like it's building collagen right now, my skin or whatever. Let me listen to me, yo. I have some blue socks too. Pink ones are cute. I need to go through all these things, everyone. Where are my blue socks? Where are my blue socks? They're super cute, okay? And I want to wear them. Okay. No, I don't want to put it on the ground because Franco loves to be on plastic. I don't know what he's like. He is. Here they are. They don't match exactly, but anyways, he likes to be on plastic, and that's not nice. Anyways, did I already say that? I didn't tell you that I looked up here. It was crazy. Here, let me undo a button. Let me go up here at this, or possibly even with. La 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 I need to do one more. It's a little much. I don't want anything to pop out.
Get up it, huh? It's cozy, cozy, cozy for a snowy day. Mm -hmm. It's actually snowing, not icing in Oklahoma right now. And that is a big, big deal. I kind of want to do a headstand, but I'm kind of worried. I don't want to pop out of any tins, okay? And it's been a long time and I've been trying to practice yoga. I want to make sure nothing's going to pop out of anything. Okay, good. Sorry. <laughs> I mean, I'm not sorry. Y'all know I want to keep my channel, okay? And I don't want to get in trouble. Keep things compliant with guidelines, right? And you guys completely understand. Let me just turn a little. It's just... I just need to stop being here so long. Okay, it just, it takes a minute to, it takes a minute to balance, okay? Just balance first. Oh, no, 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 no. No, I'm worried about falling back. Okay, well, you know what? <laughs> Let's do it sideways, because I'm also worried about that. I need to practice that more. I haven't been, and it's been. Mm. Just focus. Just focus. I can do one leg at a time, too. do this every day it's easier if your legs are like out and about you know because they can help balance almost like a seesaw situation you know <sighs> my floor is dirty I meant to buy a bucket and a mop lol I need a bucket and a mop, y'all, for, um, because I have, like, a, a Bona mop, B-O-N-A, and it's just, like, you spray something and you kind of, like, do this little pad and kind of smooth it, but my floor is kind of hard to clean like that, and my dog is kind of a mess, and he gets, like, little spots on the ground, like, I don't know how he does it, slobber, everything, everything he does, he leaves a little mark about it, so, <laughs> I have to scrub it out, and it's like a lot of work, so I need an actual wet freaking mop, you know what I'm saying, with a bucket, with a bucket, bucket, that actually feels so good, okay, this is the Ramona, guys, this is a move to loosen the lower back and i still have an injury i feel like like a little soft tissue injury down here oh did you hear that oh i'm gonna do the headstand one more time lol okay i'm doing it this way so Sorry, I did just lift my carpet. So I gotta make sure it doesn't smell like dog. Oh my god. <sighs> that side. <laughs> like That's why I'm doing yoga every day now. Like just a little bit. I got my swing down and I've been doing the swing. You guys saw in the other video. And I've just been just trying. And today after my workout, I did a little bit of yoga i did plow which i'll show you guys plow 
plow sideways view is the one where you go like this. I really like plow and it's helping and then you lower back down one vertebrae at a time and that kind of just like really helps to like lengthen the spine, you know? And then back spine flat on the mat or floor, ground, wherever you are. And you slowly lift one vertebrae at a time. Back up. Well, shoulder stand can be here, but it can be higher and it can be done like this, but I kind of like a more lower situation, more modified. And there's nothing wrong with modifications, by the way. Modifications are amazing, okay? Like, um, there's no wrong way to do, I mean, there is a wrong way to do yoga, but, um, and that's trying too hard, like pushing your body past its limit. You know what I mean? You have to be gentle with your body and like let it take, it takes time, okay? It takes time. Anyways, from plow, sometimes I like coming into knees to ears pose. And obviously I'm not touching all the way down because I'm being gentle with my body. But, and some days are also better than others. You know what I mean? Like sometimes your body might be like, stiff in one way and you need to you know be gentle and stretch it you know and then sometimes um there's a different way you know like whew, like back bends for example back bends i haven't been working on them a lot lately but i feel like i need to oh my knee oh my god okay slowly bring it down and then knees to the chest Anyways, guys, I'm gonna let go. Thanks for uh, pushing with me today. Am I still gonna be cute with eye wrinkles? There's nothing I can do about it, I don't think. Like, I can do oil and I can just like prevent it from getting deeper. Okay, anyways, ever since I started doing what I did for my face, the laser treatment, cute. Ever since I started doing the laser treatment for my face and been talking about it, you know how like the phones spy on us? Well, the phone's been spying on me and um, giving me ads like on the social media, I get ads for little like um, devices for like your face, like that target these things at home. And if there were only one, it would be so easy to just make the purchase. You know what I mean? Like I would spend a couple hundred dollars on a little device that I can use at home. It's not, it wouldn't be as strong, you know, but there's some that are like, that have like a red light and that help with acne. So that would be awesome. Look, I have the little thing here from my last period it was horrible. And then um, there's some that help with fine lines and wrinkles and things like that like deliver some kind of radio frequency and things like that. So I feel like that would be like a good addition to my to my regimen. And um, like I mentioned, I started using argan oil again. And that's a good addition because I, I noticed that it's even helping clear up my skin. Now remember, I've talked about this in my old channel that got deleted, if you don't remember, or if you're new, I went through a whole oil cleansing phase that really helped declutter a lot of the things that my skin had and it really helped get my skin from breaking out like consistently, like on this cycle of like, I mean, I still break out. I can't say I don't, but it was really bad. And it helped get me through that like main hump. You know what I mean? Um, also notice that if I feel the urge to pick up my skin, because that is a thing that I'm gonna have to work on forever. Like I have to be honest, like it's just something about me that I have to resist and I have to fight and I have to work on changing. It is a horrible habit that I picked up like as a teenager, I guess. And I've always been concerned about these things and I feel things in my skin and it bothers me, but I'm really trying to like, let it go. Anyways, the argan oil, if I put it on, I can't really do anything, but just leave it there. You know, like if I tried to pick up my skin, it would slide. You know what I'm saying? Also, it helps to pull out things naturally. So I don't have to do it, 
the oil will do it for me, you know, because it gets in there and it pulls out whatever. I know this is really disgusting, but it just pulls out whatever is in there blocking the pore. So the point of the story is that argan oil, back to my old videos that we no longer have access to, argan oil is um, non-comedogenic. So it is a zero on the comedogenic, comedogenic scale or whatever. God, I'm I don't know how to say it, but um, that means that on the scale from like zero to whatever does it clog pores is a zero. It's the only one. I love jojoba oil and I use it like on my eyes and to take my makeup off sometimes, but I don't use it every day and I should have been. Okay, now, now that I'm starting to get really crazy with the treatment and I'm trying to restructure my skin, I cannot forget to moisturize and I don't want to buy these super expensive moisturizers that are full of crap that are bad for my skin ultimately you know what i'm saying i love chanel and i've been using chanel eye cream but i feel like the argan oil is almost better so anyways um i got like the one that like the shea moisture kind like it's just like the brand or whatever but i'm going to do some research in a little bit to see if i can find like a really good quality argan oil for my beautiful skin lol my beautiful skin i'm gonna start saying that about it because i looked in the mirror today and even though i still have so many discrepancies i was like wow i've come a long way i almost want to cry about it and like i can't hold on to that story anymore you know that's not who i am anymore and i'm somewhere else now and i know who i am now and it's gonna be okay and i don't need a boyfriend or anything like that so i don't have to be perfect for anybody i don't have to I was like thinking that I have to like wait until my face is perfect to like find somebody. I don't really even need to find anybody and my face doesn't need to be perfect because this is part of my story and this is who I am. And the person that's for me would love me yesterday, today and tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? Would love the way I looked yesterday, would love the way I look today, would love the way I look tomorrow because love is more than just looks too. So anyways, I'm not in a hurry for all that either, but I just want to say that we can't tell ourselves oh like i'm worthy of love when my skin is fixed like no like i'm worthy of love now i don't need it but i'm worthy of it if it you know what i mean i shouldn't block myself from receiving blessings because i'm not ready because my skin isn't in a certain position to receive some kind of blessing so we shouldn't do that to ourselves like no matter what it is like whether it's like education wise or success or whatever it is you know what i mean like some guys because i'm sure for guys it's hard you know what i mean like if you don't have your shit together as a guy like women are like most women are like uh no right well you're worthy of love anyways like you're worthy of love whether you have your shit together or not getting your shit together helps you you know what i'm saying but you're still worthy of love and having your shit together is subjective you know what i mean what mean what it means to have your shit together is 100 subjective too so you know what i mean like to somebody having your shit together could be being emotionally stable to somebody else would be financially you know what i'm saying somebody else would be like i don't know having money or oh yeah i said that you know like a good job or having a house or all that shit doesn't matter it's a new times guys it's like a new era a new freaking timeline we're shifting to and things are changing and all the things that we used to hold on to slowly we're letting them go you know and then i was like watching something ash experiment something about group conformity some project about group conformity and how they conducted this experiment over and over and over again and it always turns out that people do conform to the group for the most part and then we wonder why we had to have this huge freaking pandemic. I'm not trying to like be. It's just my opinion, but it is my opinion that we had this pandemic because we do conform to the group and we're social creatures and energy is contagious and um, monkey see monkey do and what everybody's doing. Everybody's going to keep doing it because everybody's doing it. And so in order to like just shift completely and break that timeline and like break out of it, we had to spend time with ourselves and be alone and not care about what so-and-so is doing. 
and so and so and now we have smaller groups and so there's less there might still be some group conformity but for the most part we're we've been asked to look within and find ourselves like what do we want like no i don't want that even if everybody wants it and yes i want that even if nobody does you know what i'm saying like this is how i feel and we're gonna find that each of us has something really unique to bring to the world even though like two people might be very much alike in their talents they each have something very unique to bring to the world and it's time for us to tap into what makes us the fire that makes us burn i was like listening to something about that today and i cried i cried so hard anyways one more headstand and then we go hi babe sideways should i do it sideways let's try sideways <laughs> when i used to teach group fitness i used to tell people to lace their fingers together and place the forearms and the hands on the mat and then i used to tell them to cradle their head or place their head on their hands it's really up to you where you want to put your head some people like more um support i kind of just like the back of it to be supported okay and then and then i tell them to just walk up until they can't walk up anymore some people are more flexible than others so not everybody will be able to walk up this much and then maybe bring the knees towards the chest and then slowly start uh, erecting yourself up what a great word, huh? I hope you can see me. I can't turn my head to look. Sometimes. Oh. And then you slowly come down. <laughs> yes, you can. Woohoo! Anyways, thanks for listening and watching. That's my stomach. Okay, I'm gonna eat. See you guys.